Quarantine Science Fab, and I have special guests. Science Chloe. Hello, guys. And today we are going to be making elephant toothpaste. Okay, let's talk about the materials that we're going to need. Um, so you'll need a tray in case you have some overflowing of the foam. Um, you will need one tablespoon for soap, your liquid dish soap. Um, you need a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. You will need food coloring. Any color that you want is perfectly fine. We need multiple colors. Absolutely. Um, we have a funnel. You need a bowl that you're going to be mixing your yeast in. You need a package of yeast. If you just have a big container of yeast, that's perfectly fine. Um, you'll just need one tablespoon out of it. And you need a small bowl of warm water and then another tablespoon so that way you can put the warm water in with your yeast and mix it up. All right, are you ready? Yes. Very good. All right, so I'm going to take some things off the tray. Uh, the container that we're going to be using today, um, you find if you want to use like a one liter bottle or a 20 ounce uh, water bottle or anything like that, that's perfectly fine. All right, so we're going to get set up over here. All right. So I want you to go ahead and put one tablespoon of soap into the container. Is this good? Perfect. Please don't spill out. It'll be fine. Good job. All right. Then we are going to use our funnel and we are going to then measure out a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. It's this is the flip tap. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Here. I didn't expect it to come out that quickly. That's all right. If you want to unscrew the lid all the way, that's fine too. That came out that way. It did. That was good. That was easy. That's all right. Not a big deal. All right. Back this. You want to pour it? You want me to? Easy you. All right. Here we go. We're going to put hydrogen peroxide in. All right. We can put this off to the side, and then we want to grab our food coloring and select what you want. I want to do blue and green so that I can hope that it's going to make a teal color. Very good. All right, so we're going to do blue and green and teal color. Um, you'll probably want to do about 10 drops of the blue and about five of the green. If you want to go blue teal, but if you want to go green too, then do the opposite. Very good, yes. 10? Yes, there you go. Good. Perfect. Oops. That's all right. If you get a little more in there, it's not a big deal. It's just going to make a darker color. And you want to take your bottle and just kind of gently swirl it around. Yay, I got the teal color that I really wanted. Yep, turn in the teal color that you wanted. All right, so we're going to let that hang out there for just a second. Uh, we're going to make our yeast, so you're going to take your package of yeast and you're going to open it up. Maybe I'm going to open it. Alright, so we're going to get our yeast going here. I'm going to pour it into your bowl like this. Put your yeast package off to the side and then you're going to take your warm water and you're going to add three tablespoons. Yeah, of course, of warm water. You want to add it? Alright, you go ahead and do that. And then after you add your tablespoons of the warm water, then you want to stir it up. It should have a consistency or kind of look like soft serve ice cream. What exactly is yeast? So yeast are actually kind of little animals. What? And they help speed up chemical reactions, which are known as catalysts. But yeast, yeast is also used um, in baking, particularly with bread and things. It makes it rise up and it gives it that really yummy bread smell as well. That's why it smells like fresh baked bread. It does. There we go. Make sure you get all the lumps out too. Kind of reminds me of oatmeal. Yeah, it kind of does. It does kind of look like oatmeal that you're mixing up there. All right. That's probably good. Give it one more good stir. A few more. Perfect. Whoops, that's okay. All right, so you're going to take your funnel. I'm going to put it back on top and then you are going to dump your yeast mixture in.
absolutely touch it. Ooh. It's like it a is. mountain. It's like a lot. It's like a volcano. Foam. It is. It's really cool. This is our elephant toothpaste. Now, Ooh, so satisfying. Now we're gonna need to talk about the science behind it. All right, so let's talk about the science behind it. So there's several different things that we need to talk about. The first thing that we need to talk about is the yeast. So the yeast acts like a catalyst, and a catalyst is something that is going to speed up your chemical reaction. When the yeast and the hydrogen peroxide interact, they create a chemical reaction. You know that they have created a chemical reaction because number one, it gets warmer. So if you touch the outside of your container while it's starting to foam, you'll feel it instantaneously getting a lot warmer. It's not hot enough to burn you or anything, it just feels a lot warmer. Something else that you are noticing is all of the foam that's coming up and erupting everywhere like a giant volcano, okay? You can see all of the bubbles. The bubbles being produced is another indicator of a chemical reaction. That means a gas is being released. And what's cool about the bubbles is that they are actually carrying up little bits of oxygen. So the yeast interacts with the hydrogen peroxide and breaks out the oxygen from the hydrogen and carries it up in the bubbles. So we have this big reaction going on between the yeast and the hydrogen peroxide, which creates all of the foam and everything spewing out everywhere, which makes it lots of fun. That's why we've got to make sure that we have our tray, so that way we capture all of the excess foam that comes out everywhere. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you enjoyed the elephant toothpaste experiment. I'm the Quarantine Science Mom. And I am Science Chloe. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye.